Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about the important circuit diagrams. Okay, so first I am telling you about an electric cell. So here I will show the component and here is the symbols used to it. So to draw a, an electric cell the symbol is plus and here is minus. So it is a electric cell students and the next is a battery or you can say a combination of cells. So a battery is a combination of cells and which is shown as it symbol like this okay now come is the a plug key plug key students these are the standard symbols or switch when open state so to show this it is shown as this an open switch now here is the fourth is plug key or switch when closed so it is shown as with a dot inside okay so this is the standard notation of this next term is the a wire joint and it is shown as this is called as wire joint now next term is the wires closing without joining wires closing without joining so it is shown as means this wire is going above the base wire so next term is the electric bulb and the electric bulb is shown as okay so this is the notation of electric bulb next is the a resistor or resistance resistance r so we show the resistance as okay so students now let me erase all this and we will discuss some more components next component is <coughs> variable resistance or rheostat so students I am discussing these terms because we will be using these terms in and further lectures okay so this is shown as here or it can be also shown as this is a variable resistance so next is the ammeter okay the device used for measuring current so it is shown as plus minus with the symbol of a inside it okay next is the voltmeter it is a device used to measure the voltage or potential difference so this is plus minus with the v inside it. so students these are basically the symbols of the different components used in circuits okay so 
I hope that you guys are pretty clear about all the components and the symbols for each respective component. Okay, and if you have still any doubt or any comment, then please do ask in the comment section and I will be happy to help you guys there. And in the next lecture, we will discuss about Ohm's law. Okay, so thank you students. Happy learning.